Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, not XE, and oh, you can steal oh god, my what? channel no. like ah! that? Ah! No, ah! never. Ah! Do. never ah! do. What the frick is going on here? Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy XE. I got my channel back with your boy Carl Weezer. Hey, what's good? Anyway, today we're gonna be reacting to a guy who is addicted to eating raw meat. Yeah, you heard me right. He's addicted to eating raw beef, raw pork chops, like anything of that sort. Now, I just have one question. How are you not dead? 29-year-old Daniel has a typical varied diet, except for one nasty habit. Daniel has been obsessed with raw meat for the past six years. You know, sometimes I wonder to myself, are these even real? Like, are these staged or something? Because this one seems awfully staged. I know it's not staged, but seriously, how do you get addicted to eating raw meat? He feeds his habit four times a week with kilo after kilo of raw beef. Oh! Ew! Dude! He eats whole steaks fresh from the packaging, and he even eats raw chicken. It isn't really normal for people to have the eating habits that Daniel does. Oh, really? It isn't really normal for people to have the eating habits that Daniel does. Yeah, okay, buddy. Every year, 76 million people contract foodborne illnesses. Of these people, 375,000 are hospitalized and approximately 5,000 die. I'm really concerned that Daniel doesn't care that one day this could lead to death. Once again, oh really? This guy actually is saying the most obvious things. In fact, Daniel laughs at the thought of getting sick. It's absolutely mm -hmm. worth it to eat raw meat, even though there's consequences. Consequences are minor. Is it just me or does this guy sound like Markiplier? I like to pull it, I like to see the muscles. There's no real reason behind it besides I like the taste and texture. It's like butter. I actually can't get over that. That is so disgusting. Daniel's love of raw food started when he was a child. When we were kids, Daniel would always eat raw biscuit dough and pancake batter. It was one of the many things that set Daniel apart in a strict military household. Dude, imagine actually eating raw pancake batter. Like, are you serious, dude? Well, Daniel has always just been a little bit different, particularly when it came to writing poems, stories, fiction. My father is always pushing me, wanting better, and kind of stressing accomplishments and goals and discipline. And I feel like I'm kind of unique and different from other people. I mean, not gonna lie, this guy looks pretty normal. Like, if I saw him on the street, I really wouldn't think anything different of him. But, uh, when he's saying he's different, I mean, he eats raw meat, so I guess that's something. While Daniel's brother followed in their father's footsteps by joining the army, Daniel chose to pursue a degree in liberal arts instead, a decision not embraced by his family. My family didn't really support me in writing poetry. They just never really cared much i guess man i actually feel bad for this guy like he really doesn't seem all right like he hasn't been supported by his family like most of his life and i don't know i just feel sort of bad for him so yeah guys be sure to leave one like because one like equals one prayer for the raw me i'm just kidding guys i'm not trying to be that like that one guy what's his name i'm j station using etika for likes seriously though rest in peace etika once he left the strict confines of his parents house Daniel began experimenting with more raw foods. It was just a relaxing moment. One of those quiet things where you do it on your own and you're like, wow, this was nice. I actually don't know what he means by that, seriously though. Soon, Daniel was indulging his craving for raw meat several times a week, but he only shared his secret with his brother. I thought it was just something he was trying out, but then it started progressing to three or four times a week. Oh my gosh, dude. I, I'm seriously questioning how this guy is still alive. And that's when I really started to get concerned. After graduation, Daniel took a job as a government analyst and finally gained some respect from his family. It wasn't rewarding. I was dying a little every day. So Daniel eventually chucked his job in to pursue writing full time. I want to make some kind of a difference in the world, you know? That's why I like the whole creative angle. You can usually help people by doing what you're best at, I think. 
I actually agree with him on that one. Like, his parents aren't even supporting him, but he enjoys doing what he's doing, and he's still doing it, so that, that's really awesome. Props to him. Daniel now spends his time doing what he loves most, writing, working out, and searching for inexpensive ways to feed his obsession. I like bargains, and I always look for the cheapest cut. I don't think he does any type of preparation to it, washing it whatsoever. His brother, Bryant, has begged him to give up raw meat, horrified by the risks Daniel is taking. I still have no idea how this guy enjoys raw meat. Like, you could see the look on his face. Like, he's genuinely enjoying that. Daniel disregards any health advice he gets regarding the raw meat that he consumes. Some products may contain bacteria that could cause illness if the product is cooked improperly, or whatever. I mean, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But here's the thing. It can actually kill you. I have never gotten sick from eating raw meat, ever. Bruh, he seems so confident in that situation. Like, I mean, just look at his face. Like, like he's so smug and confident. He's like, yeah, man, I've never gotten sick before in my entire life. I've been doing it for six years now. Mm. I just really don't want my brother to end up dying from that one bad piece of meat. I honestly think this guy has grown immune to raw meats. Like, if he's been eating it for six years, then, like, I actually think he has grown immune to it. It's gonna happen sooner or later. Daniel, hi there. Uh, what's up? <laughs> I'm Dr. Mike Dow. Mike Dow. Nice Pleasure. to meet you. JJ Virgin. Good Pleasure. to meet you. Pleasure. I'm just going through my routine, doing my usual thing, and now here comes my brother with these, like, doctors, and just totally took me by surprise. You could tell he was caught by surprise because he just stood up and sat back down. J Virgin, good to meet you. I mean, just by that alone, you could tell how nervous he is. Dude, what's going on? The reason these people are here is because I called them about how you like to eat raw meat. I don't know if you really know how much this can affect your health, so they want to help you. Oh, okay, but I don't think I need help. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think he's grown immune to it because it's been six years. About that, why is it taking six years for someone to tell him to get help? I really do hope that they can just strike some chord with Daniel, but I know it's going to be hard. So, I'm hearing that you're not convinced at all that this could be dangerous to you. That's absolutely right. You're making yeah. a joke of all of this that could kill you. What's up with that? I don't think it's that big of a deal. I like how this guy's just like chill and the doctors are super serious, like... This is all good, man. Driving's more dangerous, I think. Well, you know, things are a decision. You wouldn't drive on the wrong side of the street. No. And I no. hear a lot of these rationalizations, and all the rationalizations are geared towards you continuing to eat raw meat. That is correct. Absolutely. So it sounds like what you need is some information. Would you be willing to come with us so we can show you a few things and possibly change your mind? All right, but you got a big chore ahead of you. I'll just say that. <laughs> I feel like they're talking down to me. It felt like a fight with me against three people. They were attacking me, not just my eating habits. Okay, now it just sounds like a feminist. Or at least a feminist that all say, I feel personally attacked on another level. Sounds like one of those types of people. Thank you. Since Daniel refuses to acknowledge the risks of eating raw right meat, Dr. Dow and JJ want to introduce him to someone who can show him the danger he is facing. Is it Google? Because it sounds like Google can do the trick. My name is Dr. Mike Carragher. Oh, well, guys, look, it's Dr. Mike, Mike Carragher. I'm a board certified family medicine physician. Raw beef is covered with microscopic organisms, viruses, as well as parasites. Okay. okay. Uh, they're not visible to the human eye, but. I mean, I thought we already went over this. Like, he already knows about the packaging labels, about what's on. He doesn't care. So that's not the problem here. Nonetheless, they're there. Right. Your first sign of eating a parasite or a virus or a bacteria could be death, and it's not a nice death. I mean, it was nice enough to give him six years, am I right? Hey, he got him. I haven't died yet. See what I mean? If we showed you evidence, would that help you to make some changes in your life? I don't know. I like really like it and I really don't want to change. I see this cavalier attitude, this defensiveness. Daniel needs to put down his denial and accept that what he is doing has real consequences. To determine exactly what these consequences involve, Dr. Carragher wants to run some tests on one of Daniel's favorite foods. This is some ground chopped meat, which we got from your refrigerator. 
The test will reveal if E. coli is present in the ground beef. E. coli is incredibly dangerous. I mean, of course it's dangerous. It's a freaking disease. It starts with stomach cramps, diarrhea, headaches, fever, bloody stools, but then it can quickly progress to organ failure and death. Wow, you don't say. I like how she's so happy about it. She's like, it could lead to diarrhea, uh, stomach cramps, and death. Death, 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 death. death. While Daniel hasn't yet experienced the onset of these side effects, it doesn't mean they aren't in his future. If we look at the tip of the test strips, if there's any discoloration at all, it means there's a positive test. Right. So, looks like our E. coli here has changed in color. So that's positive E. coli on the ground beef from your refrigerator, living on your chop meat. Bro, the way his expression changed. Like, he just realized that the past six years, he's been eating pure E. coli. I mean, seriously, look how fast it changes. The E. coli test they did came up positive, but I don't think it's a real biggie because I think my body's uh, naturally made to, to fight this type of thing. I mean, your facial expression didn't agree with that. Is there such a thing as the body building up immunity? No. <laughs> Bro, he was just rejected, dude. Actually, you're putting yourself at higher risk for disease the more raw meat that you eat. All right, that is it, guys, of us reacting to a video on the high-quality channel of TLC. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. No, seriously, though, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, we're almost at 300, so I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe and uh, make it to our milestone. Yeah, I'll see you all later. Peace.